Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. We are going to be covering Tesla, which is the main component of this video, and its support resistance levels, my plays, and my thoughts on what is going to happen tomorrow. If you guys watch Friday's video, we predicted this run, um, and we got we got in. We've been day trading this one. This this push right about here. Look, this push right into the market close on Friday headed toward that resistance at the 600 level. I believe the previous high was like 607.80s. That gave my gut a good feeling about today, but it's not all sunshines and rainbows, guys, because I do think there's a pullback coming. But before we get deep into the video, if you guys could just leave a like on the video, that's all we ask for. It takes a couple seconds and you show a lot of support to the channel. You guys did that on Friday's video. I'm happy and I'm grateful for that. So thank you guys. If you guys haven't already, first thing down below is our free chat. Come check us out. We throw in all of our plays in there. So today we are up a little over $1,100 on Tesla. I've been aggressively trading Tesla. If you guys look back on my last week's videos, some of those profits are way smaller than what we um, had today. But that's just because of momentum. I don't think we've had a, a losing day in like three weeks. And I, I like keeping that momentum. So as for tomorrow, like I said, don't be surprised if we have a pullback on the four hour. Actually, not on the four. Oh, yeah. Okay. You can kind of see it on the four hour. On the four hour, we have this ascending triangle with the whole number of resistance being 600. We broke out. We've still been riding above the EMA except for this pullback uh, we had here to 550s, which we were calling because it's a half dollar um, whole number there at 550. And we said, don't be surprised if Monday we have a push and see 650s, to, especially with the momentum and the hype behind Tesla right now. Currently, these whole numbers are going to be crucial. So even on the four hour, it's looking a little overextended. As for tomorrow, look how it's closing near its its, its highs here at 648. Watch the 650s tomorrow. I think we could break 650 tomorrow, have a little push, perhaps 655, and then we pull back. So I'm gonna be scalping these pullbacks just like I did today. I wish I could show you guys, but TD Ameritrade always never lets me show you my plays. Where are my plays? So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I'll just be waiting for that pullback. Worst case scenario, we dip down to 629 once again. That is going to be a, a probably the best price you could get, at, get in at on a dip. Um, as for a breakout, I, I, for Tesla, I haven't been recently chasing these ascending breakouts. I've been playing the dips. If you guys have as well, leave a comment down below. The dips are very strong. Just for example, if you would have bought the dip, from 620 down here to 614 and if you would have held it rolled the ema beautifully or even bought on the what is the second pullback their pullback towards the ema right around 618 it still maintained it um i stopped trading tesla i think right around here i had to go do some errands so around 8 30 pacific center time and i did miss all of these pullbacks here which would have been amazing we would have been more of the day but our plan was just to trade um in the morning and that's just when the market is technically stronger. But nonetheless, Tesla held the 625 level beautifully. Um, uh, NEO, XPEV, two other stocks that also carried some put, some momentum upwards today. NEO hitting 46. Watch the 50 break. As for a play, I've been waiting. I'm patiently, patiently waiting still for the $35 mark. So I'm waiting for the, that to pull back. Uh, just quick FYI, if you aren't aware, uh, if the markets are again at new highs. So that's that kind of makes me a little eerie headed into tomorrow, especially throughout the rest of the week. As for Tesla, once again, I'll let's cover XPEV really quick. Um, this is another one that I'm still waiting. Possibly, if we can see the same price level 35, I'm going to be definitely interested. But for Tesla, be very, very, very cautious. Uh, especially chasing these highs. There's a part of me that still wants us to continue headed into the 650s, but I got to be realistic, guys. This looks a little, it's too, it's a, there's a lot of hype behind this. Kind of scares me, but th that's not to say I'm not going to be a day trader on this. And that's why I don't swing any shares. Nope, there's no shares right now. I'm not going to be swinging any uh, shares on Tesla. So it's a, it's a day trading vehicle for me. So be very, very cautious, guys. Um, I do think just like, uh, I believe it was last week we said there's going to be a day where it pulls back uh, right under the EMA. In this case, it'd probably be the five minute. So which day was it? I'm not too sure. But a day where it pulls back, 
um, under the EMA and it's going to cause a lot of panic. So even if we come down, guys, to the 600s and we hold there, it's still very, very bullish long term. And the support levels, I do believe, are going to be holding very strongly. So 600 is definitely going to be a support level there. And let's see if we can at least hold the 620s if we pull back. But like I said, tomorrow we are, I'm anticipating a push past 650s and then a pullback. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys are trading Tesla, swinging some shares, let me know down in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys tomorrow, Tuesday, December 8th for a brand new trading day. Take care, guys. I'll see you.